Move two TNR2 slide elbows into position so that their edges touch. Push the end of a pan bolt through one of the recessed holes along the edge and connect the two with a lock nut. Make sure the lock nut is always on the side with the hexagonal recess. Use a total of eight pan bolts to complete the elbow section. Repeat this step to create three more elbow assemblies. Next, connect a TNR2 slide RT flange to a TNR2 slide LT flange. Use pan bolts to attach them and tighten to complete the flange assembly. Connect a TNR2 slide exit top and a TNR2 slide elbow together. Use eight pan bolts to secure them, creating the exit elbow assembly. With some assistance, connect the flange assembly to the crow's nest. Make sure the edges fit snugly into the opening, then pre-drill four holes at least an inch deep through the mounting locations along the bottom. Use four two-inch pan screws and screw bezels to connect the bottom edge of the flange assembly to the fort. Then attach the flange at the top using four one-inch pan screws and screw bezels. Use five one-inch pan screws to secure the flange assembly on each side. Move an elbow assembly into position at the opening of the flange assembly. Rotate the elbow assembly until the arrows line up with the arrows on the flange assembly. Loosely attach the assemblies together using the designated pan bolts and square lock nuts. Attach another elbow assembly to the one you just installed and then attach three more after that. Make sure that the bolts are only installed loosely for now. If you're having trouble lining up the holes, the Quadrex driver can be used to help with the alignment. Next, fit the edge or flange of the exit elbow assembly into the slot in the TNR3 short exit. Rotate the exit to align the holes. It's a good idea to use your Quadrex driver as a guide pin. Once the holes are lined up, starting from the bottom middle hole, connect the two pieces using 5 quarter by 3 quarter inch pan bolts. Now it's time to go back and tighten all the slide bolts. You'll need a 7 16 open-ended wrench to hold the nut and your Quadrex driver to tighten the bolts. Take the exit end assembly and fit it to the last elbow assembly by lining up the arrows. Make sure the elbows are oriented correctly and attach with six of the designated pan bolts and square lock nuts. Place two clamp rings around each joint on the slide. Position the clamp rings so that the ends meet with the arrows on the elbows. Connect the clamp rings together in two locations using quarter by one inch pan bolts and lock nuts. If you're having trouble installing the bottom set of clamp rings, it's okay to rotate them 90 degrees so that you're able to install the bolts. Remove the bolt closest to the fort on the fourth elbow assembly, but keep the lock nut in place. Loosely attach the slightly bent end of the TNR3 tube support to the slide seam using a pan bolt. Attach the other end to the slide end panel with a pan screw. Now fully tighten the screw and bolt. Hammer a T-nut into one side of the TNR upright. Connect the other side to the top hole in the TNR ground brace using the appropriate hex bolt and hardware. Make sure the boards are square, then secure them in place with a wood screw. Position the TNR brace so it's centered over the pilot holes of the ALRW ground and attach it using two wood screws. Next, place one TNR4 post mount clamp on each side of the clamp ring and clip them in behind. Place the TNR4 post mount base in between the two clamps and bolt all three pieces together with a designated pan head bolt and square lock nut. Now just position the TNR post mount base onto the TNR upright, pre-drill with a 1 8 inch drill bit and then attach with two 1 inch pan screws. 
To complete the slide assembly, attach the post mount clamp to the clamp ring with a pan screw. Your manual identifies the precise location to attach the ground stake. Drive it 13 inches into the ground, then attach to the ground brace using a pan screw. When you're done, check the ground stake for damage. File down any sharp edges and touch up with outdoor paint when necessary. For questions regarding your assembly, parts replacement, or if you'd like any other information about our products, please contact our KidCraft customer care team at customer service at kidcraft.com or by phone at 1-800-933-0771.